interviewing it before in a classroom set them up for a really successful visit. How many other people have family members that went here? Your mom? She went here? That's great. Raise your hand if you want to go here or go to college. Yeah? Good. Do you yeah. think that they'll actually come to college now? I think here? they all are. Yeah, it's a yeah. multicultural magnet school. You're it's a fabulous bound. school. We're college bound. Are you happy to be here today? Yes. Yes? So what do you expect? What do you expect when you get here? A lot of cool art. So, I'd like everyone to point out one of the symbols. Yes, peace sign. So you recognize the peace sign. This one is recycling. Does everybody agree? Do you know what that means? They reuse it. Okay, so it goes to a factory. It doesn't go just in the garbage dump. It goes to a factory where they break it all down and make plastic chairs out of it. And then we don't have so much garbage. And that relates to peace. Because if we don't have so much garbage stinking up the earth, will we feel better, more peaceful? What do you think? Yeah. What do you see? Because I wanted to um, figure out what that school of fish was. They are in school, and that's what it stands for, it's people, working people, to get right so they don't have long hours and they don't have any vacations. This one, what are they made of? And people wear okay, good. ribbons. So, okay. so they're ribbons. And the pink is for cancer. And again, if you can help people who have cancer, this is for AIDS, another illness. It's a virus. So if you help people who have illnesses, do you feel better about helping people? Yeah. And do they feel better? Yeah. So does that help peace? Yeah. Yes. Good. Perfect. Seeing the earth in person was um, really the biggest thing, to be able to see the scale as well as the texture, because we can't grasp that from seeing prints or on slides. Does anybody remember stuff that we looked at? Yes. Yeah? You recognize the mask? Okay, let's look at it really closely. Who has a favorite, who has a favorite mask? Raise your hand if you have a favorite mask. Why do you like that one? It looks like an elephant. Why do you like that one? It looks cool. Why does it look cool to you? The twirly eyes. I like the twirly eyes. Doesn't that look kind of like that? Yeah. Yeah? I like the middle one. You like the middle one? Do you have a reason for liking the middle one? It looks awesome. Yeah. I like the middle one too. You like the middle one too? Yeah. Why? It's all like hard. It's all hard, yeah. Did you say it was made out of rock? Yes. No? What's on there? Do you notice anything? Any yeah, details on there? Yeah. yeah. I see beads. You see beads? Good, yeah. There's seashells at the bottom. What else? Anybody else? You like the beads and fur in the middle one. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It was put on people's heads, right? People wore it. 
Right. Well, when people had yeah important moments in their lives, they did they had ceremonies and performed stories. Right? Do you remember what that story was? Anybody? Yeah. People dancing around and wearing a mask. Well, yeah, we showed you a picture of that. So that's a good answer. Right? Yeah. Remember, and they get into a fight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Wait, Doesn't this look pretty nice? Yeah. There's a lot of decoration on this. There's an avatar arrow. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. We have to figure out some facts about the people that made the art, especially the African culture, being able to talk about what you would use that, that we have available in our environment. And you can go to Target, we can go to Walmart and get art supplies. And if you were in some other location in the world, what you have available to you that you would use for art? Mud, shells. What did you like about making? said I am not a crook and we know Nixon was the president remember I showed you the victory sign yes. you always would do this yes. what is a crook what does a crook do wrong he steals money he steals money or he steals things and <laughs> Nixon has his people spy now he was the president of the United States and he was, was a political party the Republicans and the elephant is their symbol so that's what Nixon was, was Republican. So we find that's Nixon, and there he is in the corner like a bad boy because he committed a crime. He tried to rob the other party, the Democrats. Watching the excitement in their faces when they saw the real piece of art rather than what was on the smartphone. And they had a lot more knowledge. We also talked about the current election. Yes, we, we definitely did, and we. Um, the children already had some knowledge of the different parties, but this just reminded them of who the donkey is <laughs> and who the elephant is and made them more aware of the next election and the street. Does everybody remember this one? Yeah. Yes. I see it right You see a leaf? Yeah, what do you see? I see an A. Or an A, the letter A. What else do you see on a mustard color? Does it look like, what does it look like? It looks like a foot at the end. Did everybody hear that? It looks like a foot? What else could it be? What else does this look like? Yeah? You see a little white that looks like a face? Yeah. It looks like a person because it has two feet. Oh, I see. See a head? Looks like a basket with a lot of stuff in it. Interesting. Does anybody does anybody see colors that they didn't expect when they look at this? Does anybody see colors they didn't see? Yeah. Blue? The blue, it doesn't look like it has blue in it when you look at it. When you stand back from it, when everybody stands back from it, do you see blue? I see yeah. I do. You see blue now? Your eyes are way better than mine. I see purple. How do you think the artist made this? Somebody raise their hand and tell me. Looks like black one. Yeah. Splatter paint. Okay, good. Yeah. She thinks they splattered paint. I think that's a pretty good answer. Does anybody have any other uh, ideas about how it might have been made? A bucket of different kinds of colors and poured it. Right. Yeah. It looks cool. <laughs> It's all colorful, and you like the different colors. Painted different colors at different times. That's good. That's really good. So you're really thinking about it. Yeah. They also had um, one artist for each color, and then they painted it. One artist for each color? So you think different art artists painted this? That's an interesting idea. It was actually painted by one artist. People have a lot of different ideas of what like he had when he was painting it. Creative. You think he was feeling creative? It looks like he was feeling creative, right? Interesting. I like that, yeah. 
they really liked the abstract painting. I think that had the biggest reaction because when they sat in front of that and just looked it in, um, and they talked, we talked about how it would feel if you were in the painting, and they had a lot of response to that. Great so if you were to jump in the painting, how would it feel? And you know, there was danger and there was excitement and there was movement. So um, that was great. Bud because there's a stem. What else do you notice? Yes. Oh, the red stuff here? On the top, like here? There's some red butterflies and there's some that look like little flowers. Could they be baby butterflies? What does swallowtail mean? Yeah. It's the kind of butterfly. Good, Russell. Red kind of butterfly. That is a type of butterfly. Swallowtail. Does anybody know another name for other kinds of butterflies? Look at the butterflies. Do they have tiger stripes on them? Yeah. Yeah. So he called it swallowtail number one. What does that mean? Does it mean that he did more than one? Yeah. Right. Oh, probably ten. Maybe ten, maybe a hundred. You know, he does a lot of paintings. And guess what? He sells them. Oh, and how, do you remember how much? A hundred thousand. Uh, he remembered a hundred thousand dollars for one painting. <laughs> Not bad, right? If he sold 10 paintings, how much would he make? 100,000 times 10 is? 100,000 times 10. Would be a million dollars. So if he sold 10 paintings, he made a million dollars. All right, I wanted to tell you this because the, if you sell or don't sell your artwork doesn't mean the art is good or bad. But it does mean that you can make money doing art. Is our math curriculum or doing Singapore math? Uh -huh. oh, this year they have to round to the 10,000. So introducing the amount of money that artists make for selling <laughs> some of their selections was uh, right in with our math. Okay, everybody listen. She she made a really interesting observation I want everybody to hear. It looks like it's cut to make a design. Yeah, what kind of design? Diamonds. Diamonds? So like a bunch of little diamonds? Anybody trying to catch butterflies? Have you ever used a, a butterfly net? Do you know what a net looks like? Does, don't those look a little bit like a net? Oh yeah! Looks like a bunch of butterflies in a net. How do you think this artist made those little tiny diamonds on the painting? And the artist, he took something like comb maybe, and he scraped the paint because the oil paint doesn't dry so fast. Stays wet for days. So doesn't it look like he dragged it with some tool and scratched into it? It looks like he used a hand. So you're making lines with the paint. This is what you don't see in a picture or a slide. The surface of the texture, the texture of the paint. All right, now stand back. He put it like this looks like a net. Could they be all captured kind of behind a net? How many love the art? Okay. Maybe music or dancing. Can you all do that? The victory sign. Yay! Victory! So how many think that making art is fun? Is there all different ways of making art or only one way? Okay. In all different ways. What did you notice that the children said that was you know, interesting? It was the art itself, a lot of the history of art. What did they enjoy the most? The excitement was, I think, in the size. I think they expected um, probably George Washington to be a little bit bigger and all of the other um, abstracts to be a little bit smaller. The color was very important to them. Yeah. How does this tie into your curriculum? Do you think you can use this in any language lesson? The art had stories to them. Absolutely. It's, it's dialogue for um, class and it's also dialogue at home. Help develop their thinking capacity. Absolutely. Some of them um, just have so much knowledge to share um, and some of them are like little sponges. Most of them have never been to a museum. Well, I hope they come again. I hope they feel welcome. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. You. It was great.
they're enthusiastic and engaged in the work and asking questions and excited and raising their hands and so it seemed like a success to me. Little kids would say, I see the butterflies and I feel like I'm in the field with the butterflies and I feel wet. So they were really imagining themselves in the artwork. So that's really what we're about is opening up their imagination and their creative thinking.